What's happening guys, I'm Avionics. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to transform copy ROMs from your current retro gaming Raspberry Pi to your new Odroid Go Super emulation player. Now, in my case, I have my Raspberry Pi 4 over there and it has uh, RetroPie installed and all the ROMs are on the SD card, which is, which is a 512 gigabyte SD card. And then on my Odroid Go Super, I have a 512 gigabyte SD card flashed with the Retro Arena. And the link for the Retro Arena to download is in the video description. Now you're gonna need a couple of things before you start doing anything. And um, first thing, you're gonna need some kind of keyboard or mouse. And what I'm using is this iPassport, a uh, little USB wireless keyboard slash trackpad. And it's very handy to use when you're using your Raspberry as a, a desktop computer. So that's another thing, you're gonna need the, the Raspberry OS um, that you have on another SD card. Cause you're gonna have to plug, you're gonna have to insert the, the Raspberry desktop OS into your Raspberry so it acts like a computer. And then from there, you're gonna need two SD card readers to, um, to read both the, your RetroPie that's on your Raspberry and also to write onto your SD card for your OGS. So I will have all these um, suggested items in my video description below. So if you're looking to get all this and because there's not a lot of room for a lot of USB devices plugged into my Canakit Raspberry 4, I have a, uh, a USB extension as you see here in this little B-roll here where I have the extension plugged into one of the USB ports. And then down on the other side is the other SD card reader that has um, one of the cards really. And then, um, cause there's four, there's four USB ports on my, on my Raspberry Pi 4. One is being used for um, the Retro Pi card. One is used for the Retro Arena card. And then one is being used for the keyboard. So before I do anything, I wanna show you guys that powering on and scrolling through all the different emulators that I do not have Sega Game Gear yet because there are no ROMs on this card yet. But once we put the, once we uh, load up the SD card with Sega Game Gear ROMs, it will show up. All right, let's go ahead and power on our Raspberry Pi that has both SD cards plugged into it. All right, so upon powering up, we're gonna see that both cards are plugged in and detected. So go ahead and with your keyboard or mouse that you're using with your Raspberry Pi. Go ahead and double click on one of these. And then, so let's go ahead and open up our RetroPie card. So go to RetroPie and then go to home. Double click on that. There we go. Double click on Pi or triple click. For some reason I have to triple click with this keyboard. Triple click into RetroPie. Then ROMs. So this is everything that's on my RetroPie card. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on this side of the screen. And we're gonna open up another window for the Odroid Go Super um, SD card. And it doesn't matter which one you click, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. And so what we're looking for here is, here, let me navigate it to, this is not the one. Uh, so we want root. Root is the one for OGS or for the retro arena image file that I have flashed. And then, so go to root. And then, like I said, this video is for people who are using um, the retro arena. ROMs, go to ROMs folder. And then here is where we want to put it. So we want to go and put this, we're going to get same Sega Game Gear. So we're going to go ahead and open up this folder. And then on the RetroPie card, we want to open up our Game Gear folder also. There we go. 
All right, so here's everything that are zip files, okay? So we're just gonna basically hit control, click on one of the, the games that are the zip files, hit control A to select all, and then I use the, uh, the, left, the left button, the left mouse button on my little passport keyboard. I press and hold it down, and then I just use my, using my thumb, drag it over to the Game Gear folder on the Retro Arena card. Now this doesn't take very long. Game Gear games are very small files, just like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega, Sega Genesis. So now we have all the zip files and it's pretty much all you gotta do. Now, some consoles take longer than others, like PSX and uh, Dreamcast obviously take longer. So now we can go ahead and power down our Raspberry Pi 4 so we can insert the retro, um, the retro arena image card back into our old Droid Go Super. All right, now let's go ahead and insert our SD card back into our old Droid Go Super. Be careful when inserting this because it is now push in, push out with the spring eject, and it will go flying across the room. All right, let's go ahead and power it on and verify that the Sega Game Gear emulator pops up on the screen. Focus, there we go. Okay, we got Dreamcast. There it is, right there, Game Gear. Let's go ahead and just pick any kind of game. There we go, Sega. There we go. Let's get some volume going on, huh? There we go. All right, so there you guys have it. That's how you transfer, whoa, Japanese. There you guys have it. That's how you transfer ROMs from your, uh, your Raspberry Pi that already has retro games on it onto your Odroid Go Super. It also works for um, Odroid Go Advance as well. You just need all that proper equipment. All right, so if my video helped you at all, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. It definitely helps with YouTube recommending my videos. Leave any comments or questions down below and I'll get back to them as I can. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you can be notified of future content like this. All right guys, I'm Avionics. See you in the next video.